Ooh, I hate this thing. Uh, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. I ain't just know no in the house. In the name of our ancestors, peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of what I call The Realities Tip on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the Mighty One. As I said, Angel Snub Number Seven. I'm also your Soul Brother Number One. I wanted to talk to us yesterday, but we had extreme technical difficulties. I want I want to talk about nothing personal. Farrakhan is a loser. Before I could even get started, had technical difficulties, could never get back online, and uh, hey, that brother Michael, what's what is happening? Yeah, I want to be back. Uh, yesterday had a uh, extreme technical difficulty, but I noticed one minute of the video. It uploaded. I went on and let that little part stay because people had already started leaving comments on it. <laughs> so I, I left it up. But I'm going to, I do want to talk about that probably after I finish this little, this little discussion. But before I get into our short and brief topic, welcome brother Michael. The listening audience, it is a, it is a beautiful uh, Sunday morning. Yes, beautiful Sunday morning. Sky is clear. Well, I just came through some uh, fog and rain, but it cleared up. And now it's like 82 degrees, it's, it's sunny, and you know, we all right. So, let me make these real quick announcements, announcements real quick. Um, support our sister, Nova Levine. She just created a new website, ancientcreationmiss.com. And uh, the link will not be in this video, but most of the uh, new uploads, like if you went to one of my uh, Angel Snuffin' Up 7 blog talk radio uploads, that is updated information. So you can go there and you can click on all her links, her YouTube channel, Black Political, uh, Dot com. Thank you, Brother Michael. And uh, all the links to every to all her activities is in the uh, in the description box in the in the uh, most latest uh, updates. So, uh, I have to figure out how to how to update my. Uh, these live, these live uh, description box is on default. Old information. I have to figure out how to change the uh, the default uh, settings so I can bring this material up to date. Also, subscribe, support our brother Talib, Eric Bell, Eric Bell on YouTube. And I guess some of you have decided to do that. Brother Talil's channel is, is slowly getting up there, little by little. Appreciate it. Because uh, should they be successful in tearing me down, that might be an alternative till I can get back on my feet. <laughs> Not only him, but also uh, our sister Noble. Then we also want you to support our brother Gary. 
and he's a cuckoo cutter on YouTube. Also, if you want to uh, donate, show your appreciation to the ministry, you can do that. Link is in the uh, subscri uh, description box also. I'm using Zelly. Y'all know I'm not one of those donation kind of fellas. But I know that some of you, I've, I've been getting requests for years and years and years. And I don't think that is right because you just want to show your appreciation. Help me with my internet bill. You know, just help your brother out. And, uh, But right now I can't I can't do it. I, I can't do it on, on this phone. Especially while I'm moving. I can't. Uh, that won't be possible, bro, Michael. But go to the 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 uh go to uh when we get finished talking, when you get tired, you can go to uh Angel Snuff Nuff 7 Blog Talk Radio, and I know for sure that is up to date information. Now, so support our sister Nova Levine, brother Talib, brother uh, brother Gary, Cool Cool Cutter. You can donate if you want to, and when you donate, if you want me to talk about a a, a, a special topic, I will do that for you, and I will say that it, that the, that this talk was sponsored by Sister or a brother so-and-so, or I would just say, this topic was chosen by, and they uh, donated to us, and so we'll go from there. Now, with that said, got that out the way, because this really should be a very short topic. I just wanna make some points. Hold on a second. Got to get me a drink here. Okay. Let's see if we can do this real quick. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with uh, these uh, Afrocentric, blackity black, black conscious, Comedic Hebrew Israelite these teachings. I don't know how many of you are familiar with that. I hope that you did not experience it at all. <laughs> I wish I did. And I believe these things. And when I was believing these things, when you believe something, you don't have to think. There's no reason to think. When you believe, there's no need for facts, there's no need for common sense, there's no need for reasoning, you just believe. So when something is presented to you and it's part of your belief, you do not think about what you're being told. You just accept it for what it is and feel good about it. Cause that's all these teachers do is make you feel good. That's all feel good rhetoric. They have not accomplished nothing except make you feel good. Intellectual masturbation. And we know that masturbation does not create life it just makes you feel good gives you pleasure that's all masturbation does not produce babies does not produce life and we are satisfied with intellectual masturbation as long as we can feel good we don't care about producing life because the reality is Life is a responsibility 
and we don't want that responsibility. We'd rather just sit back in the cut and feel good. Intellectual masturbation. I was just thinking and I wanted to bring this to our attention. Two little things that people are being taught to believe in these uh, in the black conscious community. One is the sun or we who are melanated we are the people of the sun. The sun loves black folks. The sun loves the black people all over the world. The original man. Oh, the sun just loves us so much. Oh, come here. Hey, the sun wants you to come and give, give the sun a little kiss. Come on. I love you so much. I'm the sun. I love you. I don't care if they call you a nigger or a negro or colored or whatever. You're melanated and you got melanated skin and the sun loves melanated skin. I love you. I love you. <laughs> The sun loves melanated people. And the second thing I want to talk about is, as you know, the white man or, or pink people or the Caucasian people, their, their birth rate is falling. Oh, happy, happy, joy, joy, yay! The white man ain't producing babies like he used to. Yay! Yay! All right! Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, talking about the sun is a friend to melanated people. That's a beautiful, feel-good story for us. I'm going to show you why. And this story and this happiness to learn that white people are not producing, their birth rates is falling short, and we're having more and more babies. Wow! Yay! Hey, come on, Brother Michael. Get with me. Let's jump for joy. It's a happy day. It is a happy day for the melanated black folks, comedic nation of Islam, uh, you know, more science temple, nation of gods and earth. Such a wonderful thing. The white man time is up, y'all. It's beautiful. Wonderful, wonderful. Glory, glory, hallelujah. It's just a wonderful thing. Let's see. Let's see how valid these claims are. <laughs> Cause I was just thinking about this. Okay, let's first let let's deal with this sun issue first. The sun love the sun loves the melanated people. Black folks, we the children of of the sun. Kemet Kemet was the civilization of the sun. The sun loves us. Well, first of all. Well, we need to get a reality check. The sun does not... <laughs> hey, Brother Michael. If you don't laugh, it'll make you cry. First of all, reality check. The sun is not alive. The sun could care less if you are alive or dead. The sun is not alive. It's not a living being. It does not love. It does not hate. It's just there. A ball of gas. According to scientists. Matter of fact, a ball of gas. According to scientists. That will eventually burn itself out. The sun is a star. And stars, according to scientists, the astronomers, stars burn out. They don't last forever. It's nothing but a ball of gas. Why would, why would a ball of gas give a damn about 
the melanated people on the earth. Also, according to some of these blackity black teachings, they said that the black man created the sun. <laughs> well, your happy ass need to create another one because this sucker eventually we're going to burn out. Some of y'all can burn a lot of candle, let alone talk about create a sun. You know, more nonsense. That's right. The sun does not discriminate against nobody. It just shines. And if you are if you are under the sun, that's what it does. Now, it is true. It is true. The less pigmentation or the less melanin you have in your skin, it is true that you are better capable of dealing with the sunlight. This is true. But we take it too far, like we take it too far to believe that this skin, that this, that the sun knock you. If you are out in direct sunlight, I don't give a damn how black you are, that sun will kill you. Nobody, no animal, no life on this planet is going to be able to stand out in direct sunlight for an excessive amount of time and the sun will kill your ass. That's, that's the bottom line. Now black people have kinky hair. Some of us. That kinky hair will help your skull, protect your skull from, from that those sun rays for a certain period of time. But eventually, you got to get out of direct sunlight. You have to find shade. That sun, that sun will kill you, Mr. Melanated Guy, Mr. God Woman, whatever you want to call yourself. It will kill you. Black people get skin cancer also. Look it up. Get the information. Talk to your scholars. Read a book. Many black folks, soul brothers and sisters, this year will die from skin cancer. You cannot go out in the sun and be directly in the sun excessively. You can be out there for a certain period of time. You have to protect your skin. Now, they want to jump for joy because it's true. Caucasian people are more vulnerable to, uh, to the sun. This is true. However, do your history. Look at Caucasian people, Europeans. These people are all over the earth. They are climbing the highest mountains. They are going down into the deepest of the sea. And you can't get no hotter than the desert. These Caucasian people are in the desert. The only thing they have to do is cover their head and cover their bodies with a uh, cloth and it will protect them from the sun that's all they have to do now there's a there's a myth that if the Caucasian that the Caucasian needed black folks to do the work in America now there were many Caucasian people could I, who, who, could, who could not afford slaves? They were in the hot sun just like the slaves was. 
they did the same kind of work and they did not die they didn't even get skin cancer explain that to to me now what caucasian people in america decided to do instead of us going out into the field let's use our energy that we would be working out in the field and let's put somebody else out there that's what they done it's not like they could not do it like the environment was so damn harsh there were many many caucasian people who could not afford slaves on these farms they had to work there was no modern day tractor they had to use a horse and a plop they doing it right now in amish country right now I go through Amish country all the time. Them people out there in the field, hot as hell out there. And they doing this stuff with no uh, modern equipment. You don't see them falling out. And you talk about, and you don't hear about them getting skin cancer and all like this. This is nothing but some damn made up ass feel good rhetoric for the Negro. Cause it's not true. If you look at what's happening, if you take a look, it's very clear it's, what you're talking about is not real. Anybody can get skin cancer. And the sun, just like Brother Michael said, the sun shines on everybody. The sun, the sun shines on everybody. It is not a lie. Evil, good, babies, elderly, deer, platypus, it don't care. Well, it can't care, it's not a lie. Slaves did a lot of work in America. This is true. But these Caucasian people, they were out in those fields doing a whole lot of work themselves, out in the sun. Explain this to us. Explain this to us. This is just ignored. I start thinking about that. These people, if the sun was so dangerous to them, like 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 uh, these folks claim, how were they able to go all over the world, desert? The North Pole, the Antarctica, Australia. These people are survivalists, clearly. They came out of Europe and went all over the world. You want to paint these people like they weak. These people are not weak. They can take more than, you, than you're talking about. They're smarter than you. what you're talking about. And they damn sure know how to kick plenty of ass. They kick your ass and, and still kicking your ass right now. And you laying on the damn floor and you can't even get up. So the only thing you can dream about, oh, they weak, the sun. So this is what a lot of black folks is, is hoping. They hoping, they hoping for climate change. They want the sun, they want the sun to get so hot, it'll give all the white people skin cancer or whatever and burn them up. But the sun won't do nothing to them. If the sun get to the point where it's killing Caucasian people like that, believe me, your ass gonna be suffering too. And let me tell you something, when it comes to climate change, there's something called the, the ozone layer. And I don't give a damn about your melanin. If you take that ozone layer away, the ozone layer of this planet is what is protecting all life on this planet from the direct radiation of the sun. Nothing on this planet can survive 
getting direct radiation from the sun. And that's the reality of it. Melanated skin, non-melanated skin, they ain't gonna make no difference. You mess around and destroy the ozone layer or the ozone layer is so damaged, all this radiation can get through, you're done. You're done. Black or white. It's not going to make any difference. You're done. So the black conscious pro-black folks is hoping that the sun will burn the white people up so they don't have to do no work. You don't have to struggle. All they have to do is lay on your ass and God will do the work because this is all this is God's work, you know. God is making the earth real hot, burn the white people up, you know, nonsense. Then another thing that's going to help these lazy ass YouTube black revolutionary video watchers. Another thing. Hey, what's up there, Laurel? Another thing that these pro-blackity black folks is hoping they're hoping that uh, the birth rate of Caucasian people con continue to uh, fall. White man ain't having no babies like he used to. Okay, this is the reality. The ra this is this is the reality. Apparently, Caucasian people don't have that much of a problem having babies. Look how many of them are in this country right now. And wherever they go around the world, the world, I said world, no matter where they go on the earth, they use their little penis and they make themselves known. And they make their presence known. Now this is the this is the big thing. The Caucasian people or the Europeans have always been the minority. And you know this. They have always been the minority on the planet. So just because their birth rate fall, do that mean your condition gonna change? Your condition is not going to change because because they have always been their numbers have always been lower than yours and they kick you in your ass and they rule you so just because their numbers begin to drop a little bit or whatever your condition is not going to change no time soon so all that happy happy the, the sun the sun gonna burn them up and the, and the white folks ain't having been that's not gonna save your happy ass. If you don't do what oppressed people have done in history, and you know that because you read the books, you got the information, you have the scholarship, if you don't do that, you done anyway. You might well sit your ass down, go get you some popcorn, go to your stars out, and watch 50 Cent and them other guys fight over drugs on that show Power. Might as well enjoy yourself. Cause it ain't nothing but feel good rhetoric. I would rather watch 50 Cent and Power than keep listening to these old made up ass stories. Intellectual masturbation. It's, the stuff is not real. You think the sun and the falling birth rate is gonna make things easy for you. <laughs> Keep waiting. But that's what they're teaching. That's what they're teaching in these black conscious, blackity black community. Pan-African, whatever. That's what they're teaching. And I remember hearing this, and I was, I was happy too at the time. You know, sun burn, gonna burn the white man up. But this person, these people, been all over the earth, kicking folks in the ass. Hot sun, cold weather, it don't make no difference. And you underestimate these people, 
because they very, very smart. They very, very wise too. They are fighters, they're survivalists. It's gonna take a lot to take them out of action. And you know it, that's why you, you live in dreamland, Wakanda land. You don't wanna mess with these people because you ain't brave enough, you ain't smart enough, you ain't bold enough, you're not a survivalist. If the white man tell you you can't go to his grocery stores no more, your ass gonna starve with your God and king and queen self living in La La Land. One of these days soon, they gonna show you how much you need him. We gonna see how much y'all can make it on your own. Another thing about the white man or the pink people or these races, they know how to stick together. They know how to fight against a common enemy and after that enemy is knocked off, then they can go back to fighting among each other. You don't know how to do that. The only thing you wanna do is talk about, are you gay? Is you a homosexual? You are Asian. You a spy. Did you listen to the new the new video by Sarah Susan Setting and Dr. Umar? That's the only thing you interested. Who you gonna screw? Who panties you gonna get? Or you mad cause you not getting no panties? Y'all sorrowful for pieces of Woo! Boy, boy, boy. The sun. If the sun burn this, burn these people up, it's gonna burn, be burning your ass up too. Look! These people, I'm gonna say this, we gonna get out of here. You want the sun to burn the white man up. Most of y'all, you will die if your air conditioning cut off. You so used to air conditioning. You talking about all that melanin in your skin. If that melanin in your skin, all that is so great, why are you using air conditioning? If the sun is so beautiful to you, why do you have your air conditioning on in your house? Soak up the damn sun. Since you say, you say it's so great and the sun loves melanated people so much, you get in your car, air conditioning. You go to the mall, air conditioning. In your house, air conditioning. You only telling, a, you only telling lies to yourself. And the world already know it's a lie. That's why they don't worry about you. They see that you're living in nonsense land. You love the sun. Black people are the people of the sun. And your ass is out of the sun. In them chemicals with that fake ass cold air. Now for me, see when I was growing up, we didn't have no air conditioning. Most black people in the South in the rural areas, we didn't have no air conditioning. We were, we were the real people of the sun. But now, it bothers me. The sun actually bothers me. Not because I don't like the sun, because when they, they locked me up for 10 years under that damn air conditioning, messed up my, um, my body's ability to absorb and tolerate the sun. I was always out in the sun. And I still don't like air conditioning. But because I was locked up for those 10 years under air conditioning, like I said, my body changed. But most of you, you know, <laughs> you better keep them air conditioners running. You love the sun so much. Some of y'all don't even go out in the sun and, and sunbathe or nothing. So more, so more of these black conscious teachings exposed, revealed as the nonsense, it really is, it's not real. You don't fight for what is yours like a man or a woman, you're not gonna get a damn thing. Caucasian people died, they suffered and they sacrificed for what they have whether you like it or not. But they did. You're not willing to do that. Freedom is not free. Somebody gonna have to pay a price. 
Otherwise, you need to just shut the hell up and enjoy your air conditioning, pay your bills, go to work, make more slaves for your masa, and shut the hell up. Only an ignorant person will be impressed by these dumbass, black conscious, pan-African, RBG, black first teachers. You have to be ignorant, you just don't know. And when I was a young man, I just did not know. But like the Bible said, when I was a child, I spoke like a child, but I'm grown now. You're not gonna bring that nonsense to me like that. Because I have read books. And I also have eyes. I'm like, damn. If, they, if, the, if these people are so weak under the sun, how the hell could they take take over the world the way they done? See, it don't even make no sense. It makes no sense. Intellectual masturbation, feel good rhetoric. Might as well, y'all might as well kept your ass with white Jesus in the church. There ain't no difference. Matter of fact, some of y'all, some of these people, they got rid of white Jesus and now they got black Jesus. Same stuff. Don't make no difference. It's all baloney. Like Judge Judy said, bunch of malarkey. So on that note, now if, if I'm in error, if this is wrong observation, let me know. Hey, Brother Michael, don't be scared. Let me know. If I'm off base, if, this, if I'm in error, I'm off, please let me know because I don't want to be wrong. I, I want to be as right as possible. But I just don't see it. I don't see this. My knowledge of science, my knowledge of history, biology, my own life experience, I don't see what y'all see. I don't see these things. I want to be right. I mean, I mean, please show me how, if this is, this, I mean, maybe I'm off. I really doubt it. On that note, uh, let me get out of here. Matter of fact, probably take a break, come back, and get to my other topic that I wanted to deal with uh, yesterday. Um, nothing personal. Farrakhan is a loser. It's going to be a real short video, too, anyway. Because, uh, I mean, what else is there to really say about this man? <laughs> really? Ain't really nothing to talk about. Actually, I'm doing him a favor by talking about him. Because he's really not worth talking about. He ain't done nothing. Right? <laughs> Woo. So let me get out of here. I'll be back. Give me a maybe a, maybe an hour or, or less. And uh, come back and deal with that topic. And uh, I'm only 5,000 for now. Peace.